this tutorial, we will see how to use Twixter in Motion. For those of you already familiar with Twixter, you will know that it is a retiming plugin. You can speed footage up, slow it down, and change the frame rate with Twixter. In previous versions of Twixter, that is versions prior to version 8, we used optical flow to create new frames and create smooth, slow motion effects. We also recommended that you shoot a high frame rate for the best results, 60 frames per second or higher. We still have this option available and you would select the best optical flow option under track quality in the effect controls. We now have a new option as of Twixter 8 that uses machine learning. It's the DNN Model 1 option in the track quality. The best part is that even though you will always get the very best results with higher frame rates, we can get great results using 29.97 frames per second using the DNN Model 1 option. We are using 29.97 frames per second footage for this example, so you'll see the comparison in this tutorial. Let's start in the project browser which is what you're greeted with when you open Motion. We will work on a standalone Motion project, so that is the type of project I select. I can select Broadcast HD 1080 for preset and 29.97 frames per second. I can change the duration to frames since Twixter likes to work in frames. Now I can select Open. Next, I will import the footage that I want to slow down. If my footage appears blown out, it's probably the wrong color space. If that's the case, I can select it, go to the Media tab, Inspector, Media, and change the color space override to the appropriate color space for your footage. Mine is Rec 709. I select that and we're all good, back in business. We have to set the duration of our timeline prior to adding Twixter. I select the footage in the timeline, go to the Properties tab, and select Timing and Show. I choose the End Condition to Hold, and I can change the duration to be double the current duration, because in Twixter, I want to slow the clip by half. So I enter 484 frames, since my footage is 242 frames. You will decide what speed percentage you want to slow your own footage to, so this example is based on slowing to 50% of the original 100% speed. We need to take this step because it is how Motion will allow Twixter to alter the length of the clip. If you're speeding the clip up, you don't need to take this step. Now we add Twixter to our footage by selecting our footage in the timeline and going to Filters, Revision Plugins, and Twixter. If the project duration didn't change in the timeline, you can select it here and change it to 484. Now I can select Twixter in the timeline to see the effect controls. I will leave the display on Twixter to output. I choose Speed for the Time Remap mode since I want to adjust the speed percentage. The other option is Frame Number if I want to put a particular frame in a particular place. I will change the speed percentage to 50% to give me the 50% slowdown, as 100% means real time. You want to make sure the clip FPS equals project FPS is checked, unless you're doing a frame rate conversion. This will ensure that your output frame rate is the same as your input frame rate. I can change the track quality. Let's go to frame 96 and look at the difference between best optical flow, which is what versions prior to Twixter 8 use. Now we can switch it to DNN Model 1 and see the difference. In this case, we are getting a much better result with DNN Model 1, which uses machine learning instead of optical flow. Now we can check the Smart Blend box too to get an even better result around the edges. These options will change for each shot, so you just need to try them out and see if they will add any benefit. We also have other tutorials that give more details for each option. Now we can go to the File, Share, Export Movie and see the result after it's rendered. 